Well, hello everybody. Today is Classical Conversation Cycle 1, Week 4. We are on Week 4. Let's go ahead and start off with the timeline. We have 1000 BC, early Native Americans. Israel divides into two kingdoms, Homer and Hesiod. Rome founded by Romulus and Ramus. Remus. Israel falls to Assyria. Assyria falls to Babylon. Lao Tzu, Confucius, Buddha. All right, well, I have my harp with me, so we're going to go ahead and sing this song. Are you ready? 1000 BC, 1000 BC. Early Native Americans. Israel divides into two kingdoms. Homer and Hesiod were founded by Romulus and Remus. Israel falls to Assyria. Assyria falls to Babylon. Lao Tzu, Confucius, Buddha. 1000 BC, 1000 BC. Early Native Americans. Israel divides into two kingdoms. Homer and Hesiod were founded by Romulus and Remus. Israel falls to Assyria. Assyria falls to Babylon. Lao Tzu, Confucius, Buddha. 1000 BC, 1000 BC. Early Native Americans. Israel divides into two kingdoms. Homer and Hesiod were founded by Romulus and Remus. Israel falls to Assyria. Assyria falls to Babylon. Lao Tzu, Confucius, Buddha. 1000 BC, 1000 BC. Early Native Americans. Israel divides into two kingdoms, Homer and, Her Homer and Hesiod. Let's try that one more time. 1000 BC, 1000 BC. Here we go. Early Native Americans, Israel divides into two kingdoms, Homer and Hesiod. Rome founded Romulus and Remus. Israel falls to Assyria, Assyria falls to Babylon, Lao Tzu, Confucius, Buddha. All right, well, let me help you with the signs that we're going to do. 1000 BC, 1000 BC, early Native Americans. Okay, then we have Israel divides into two kingdoms. Homer and Hesiod, Rome founded by Romulus and Remus. Israel falls to Assyria. Assyria falls to Babylon. Lao Tzu, Confucius, Buddha. All right, let's try that one again. Ready? 1000 BC, 1000 BC, early Native Americans, Israel divides into two kingdoms, Homer and Hesiod, Rome founded by Romulus and Remus, Israel falls to Assyria, Assyria falls to Babylon, Lao Tzu, Confucius, Buddha. 1000 BC, 1000 BC, early Native Americans, Israel divides into two kingdoms, Homer and Hesiod, Rome founded by Romulus and Remus, Israel falls to Assyria, Assyria falls to Babylon, Lao Tzu, Confucius, Buddha. 1000 BC, 1000 BC, early Native Americans, Israel divides into two kingdoms, Homer and Hesiod, Rome founded by Romulus and Remus, Israel falls to Assyria, Assyria falls to Babylon, Lao Tzu, Confucius, Buddha. 
Well, that is our timeline. Let's go ahead and move on to our math. So here for math, I have our skip counting and we are going to have the sevens and the eights. So here we go. Let's try this out. This song is going to be two, are you sleeping? Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, 91, 98, 105, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, 91, 98, 105, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 77, 84, 91, 98, 105. Let's try that again. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, 91, 98, 105. I'm going to use my shakers for the last time. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 11 is 77. 7 times 12 is 84. 7 times 13 is 91. 7 times 14 is 98. 7 times 15 is 105. Here we go. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. 56, 63, 70, 77, 84, 91, 98, 105. Those are our sevens. Let's go ahead and move on to eights. We have the song, Oh Susanna. All right, so we have eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, 88, 96, 104, 112, and 120. One more time. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, and 64, 72, 80, 88, and 96, 104, 112, and 120. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, and 64, 72, 80, 88, and 96, 104, 112, and 120, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, and 64, 72, 80, 88, and 96, 104, 112, 1, 120. Let's try that with... 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 6 is 48, 8 times 7 is 56, 8 times 8 is 64, 8 times 9 is 72, 8 times 10 is 80, 8 times 11 is 88, 8 times 12 is 96, 8 times 13 is 104, 8 times 14 is 112, and 8 times 15 is 120. So we sing the song. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, and 64, 72, 80, 88, and 96, 104, 112, and 120. One time with the shakers. Here we go. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, 88, 96, 104, 112, and 120. All right, that is our skip counting with our sevens and our eights. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next thing. 
The next thing we have is English. So we've been working on our prepositions. In our prepositions, we have below, beneath, beside, between, okay? I'm sorry, we have before, behind, below, beneath, beside, before, behind, below, beneath, beside. All right, so here I'm gonna use Sarah. Here, Sarah. Hi, Sarah, how are you doing today? Are you ready to help me with my prepositions for English? All right, Sarah, let's get this party started. I need your help. Can you go before me? Can you go behind me? Can you go below? Boop. Can you go beneath? Can you go beside? All right, before behind, below, beneath, beside, before, 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 Behind, below, beneath, beside. Before, behind, below, beneath, beside. Before, behind, below, beneath, beside. Sarah, can you tell me what that is one more time? Oh, what? You want to go before me? Sure, you can be before me. You Now it's my turn. You go behind me. Okay. And now Sarah wants to go below. Below my hand. Now she wants to go beneath. And the last one is beside me. She can go beside me, right here. Or right here, beside me. Thank you so much, Sarah, give me a high five. All right, Sarah helped me with English on our prepositions. All right, let's move on to the next thing. We have Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Tell me about the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. The Seven Wonders of the Ancient World are Pyramids of Giza, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, Statue of Zeus at Olympia, Mausoleum at Helicarnassus, Pharaoh's Lighthouse at Alexandria, Colossus of Rhodes. Oh! Let me show you some pictures. We have, you see, there we go. Pyramids of Giza, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, Statue of Zeus at Olympia. Do you see how he's holding a lightning bolt? Mausoleum at Halicarnassus. Pharaoh's Lighthouse at Alexandria. Colossus of Rhodes. All right, so let's try it. We have Pyramids of Giza, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, Temple at Artemis at Ephesus, Statue of Zeus at Olympia. Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, Pharaoh's Lighthouse at Alexandria, and Colossus of Rhodes. Oh, here we go. Seven wonders of the ancient world are pyramids of Giza, hanging gardens of Babylon, Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, Statue of Zeus at Olympia. Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, Pharaoh's Lighthouse at Alexandria, Colossus of Rhodes. Oh, seven wonders of the ancient world of fear. Seven wonders of the ancient world are pyramids of Giza, hanging gardens of Babylon, Temple of Artemis. At Ephesus, statue of Zeus at Olympia, mausoleum at Halicarnassus, Pharaoh's lighthouse at Alexandria, Colossus of Rhodes. Oh, seven wonders of the ancient world are pyramids of Giza, hanging gardens of Babylon, temple of Artemis. At Ephesus, statue of Zeus at Olympia, mausoleum at Halicarnassus, Pharaoh's lighthouse.
house at Alexandria. Colossus of Rhodes, oh, seven wonders of the ancient world, our pyramids of Giza, hanging gardens of Babylon. Temple at Artemis, at Ephesus, statue of Zeus at Olympia. Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, Pharaoh's lighthouse at Alexandria, Colossus of Rhodes, oh, seven wonders of the ancient world, our pyramids of Giza, hanging gardens of Babylon, Temple at Artemis, at Ephesus, statue of Zeus at Olympia, Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, Pharaoh's lighthouse at Alexandria, Colossus of Rhodes, oh, seven wonders of the ancient world, our pyramids of Giza, hanging gardens of Babylon, Temple at Artemis, at Ephesus, statue of Zeus at Olympia, Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, Pharaoh's lighthouse at Alexandria, Colossus of Rhodes, oh, seven wonders of the ancient world, our pyramids of Giza, hanging gardens of Babylon, Temple of Artemis, at Ephesus, statue of Zeus at Olympia, Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, Pharaoh's lighthouse at Alexandria, Colossus of Rose. Well, that was our history. So we have done our timeline, math, English, and history. Let's move on to Latin. We're doing first declension noun endings. We are going to start off with singular, so one finger. Here we go. A, uh, I, I, um, ah. Uh, a, uh, I, I am a, a, I, I am a, a, I, I am a, singular first declensions, a, I, I am a, a, I, I am a, a, I, I am a, singular first declensions. Let's try that a couple more times. A, I, I am a, a, I, I am a, a, I, I am a, singular first declensions, a, I, I am a, a, I, I am a, a, I, I am a, singular first declensions. All right, let's move on to plural. Plural is going to be I, arm, is, as, is. We're going to use two fingers. We're going to use the geese fingers. Here we go. I, arm, is, as, is. I, arm, is, as, is. I, arm, is, as, is. Plural first declensions. I, arm, is, as, is. I, arm, is, as, is. I, arm, is, as, is. Plural first declensions. I, arm, is, as, is. I, arm, is, as, is. I, arm, is, as, is. Plural first declensions. Let me show you what those are. Where, a, uh, I, I, um, ah, uh, a, uh, I, I, um, ah. Uh. Singular first declensions. Plural is I. Arum is as is. I arum is as is. I arum is as is. Plural first declensions. That was our Latin. Now we are going to move on to science. I have my science right here. Do you see it? Science. What are some parts of a? Do you see that? you see that but I saw the word plant plant cell it says plant cell not animal cell it says plant cell 
Let me show you what a plant cell is. Hmm, I see it. A plant cell. Nucleus, cytoplasm, vacuole, mitochondria, cell membrane, Golgi bodies. Well, wait, I see two new ones right there. Chloroplast and cell wall. Chloroplast is gonna go first and then cell wall will come after. So how we have it is like this, a plant. My tree is gonna grow up with sunshine. A plant, my plant is growing. Okay, what are some parts of a plant cell? Did you hear me? What are some parts of a plant cell? A plant cell. Nucleus, cytoplasm, vacuole, mitochondria, cell membrane, Golgi bodies, chlorophyll, chlorophyll, cell wall, cell wall, chlorophyll, cell wall, are some parts of a plant cell. Let's try that again. What are some parts of a plant cell? Nucleus, cytoplasm, vacuole, mitochondria, cell membrane, Golgi bodies, chlorophyll, chlorophyll, cell wall, cell wall, chlorophyll, cell wall. Are some parts of a plant cell? What are some parts of a plant? Plant cell, nucleus, cytoplasm, vacuole, mitochondria, cell membrane, Golgi bodies, chlorophyll, chlorophyll, cell wall, cell wall, chlorophyll, cell wall, are some parts of a plant cell. Let's try this again. What are some parts of a plant cell? Did I forget what I'm singing about? A plant cell. What are some parts of a plant cell? Nucleus, cytoplasm, vacuole, mitochondria, cell membrane, Golgi bodies, chlorophyll, chlorophyll, cell wall, cell wall, chlorophyll, cell wall, are some parts of a plant cell. What are some parts of a plant cell? Nucleus, cytoplasm, vacuole, mitochondria, cell membrane, Golgi bodies, chlorophyll, chlorophyll, cell wall, cell wall, chlorophyll, cell wall, are some parts of a plant cell. Last time, here we go. What are some parts of a plant cell? Nucleus, cytoplasm, vacuole, mitochondria, cell membrane, Golgi bodies, chlorophyll, chlorophyll, cell wall, cell wall, chlorophyll, cell wall, are some parts of a plant cell. All right, well that is our science. We're gonna move down to geography with our maps. And so when we are doing this, we're talking about the Hittite Empire. Hattusa, you see, the capital is Hattusa, and it's underneath the Black Sea, okay? Asia Minor is a large piece of land. Asia Minor, the most present-day Turkey, squashed by the Black Sea. Squash. Cyprus is an island that is pointy, east in the Mediterranean Sea. And then we have... Arabian Desert. Um, Arabian Desert makes a sandwich between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. Yum, yum. All right, let's try singing this song. Hittite Empire, Hattusa, you see, the capital underneath the Black Sea. Asia Minor, most present day Turkey, squashed by the Black Sea. Squash. Cyprus is the island that's pointy, east in the Mediterranean Sea. Arabian Desert makes a sandwich between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. Yum, yum. Let's try that again. Hittite Empire, Hattusa, you see, the capital underneath the Black Sea. Asia Minor, the most present day Turkey, squashed by the Black Sea. Squash. Cyprus is the island that's pointy, east in the Mediterranean Sea. Arabian Desert makes a sandwich between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. Yum, yum. Okay, Hittite Empire. Hittite Empire, Hattusa, you see, the capital underneath the Black Sea. Asia Minor, the most present day Turkey, squashed by the Black Sea. Squash. Cyprus is the island that's pointy, east in the Mediterranean Sea. Arabian Desert.
answer makes a sandwich between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. Yum, yum. Hittite Empire, Hattusa, you see. Do you see it? Hattusa, you see. The capital underneath the Black Sea. Asia Minor, the most present day Turkey, squashed by the Black Sea. Squash. Cyprus is the island that's pointy. East in the Mediterranean Sea. Arabian Desert makes a sandwich between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. Yum, yum. We'll sing this one more time. Hittite Empire, Hattusa, you see. The capital underneath the Black Sea. Asia Minor, the most pleasant day, Turkey, squashed by the Black Sea. Squash. Cyprus is the island that's pointy. East in the Mediterranean Sea. Arabian Desert makes a sandwich between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. Yum, yum. Very good. That is all of our review our memory work. So what we're going to do is now I want to tell you a little bit about our art. What we did for art today was we talked about um, African masks, but there was something special about these African masks. I don't know if you were able to see that we were learning about a certain kind of um, art, which is called abstract art. What what is abstract art? Well, abstract art is art that does not attempt a recognizable reality, but instead uses shapes, colors, forms, and textures to achieve an effect. Some characteristics of ab abstract art are indistinguishable subjects, colors, or shapes that evoke emotions. And um, let me show you what some abstract art pictures are. These, this is abstract art. What do you see? What do you feel? What do you think? Is it recognizable? Are there textures, colors, and shapes? Let me show you. Abstract art can be a painting or sculpture that does not depict a person, place, or thing in the natural world. The subject of the work is based on what you see in the form of color, shapes, brushstroke, size, and scale. It is an expression of the artist's emotion at the time of the piece's creation, and it is intended to evoke an emotion in the viewer as well. And these are abstract art. We, in class today, worked on African masks. There are all these different kinds of African masks. Let me show you some pictures. These are all different kinds of African masks. I actually drew some African masks that y'all were able to see today. This was one of them looked like this. And another one looked like this. And another one looked like this. But when I was drawing the abstract math, I wanted to make sure that in my drawing, I had something that stood out. A word that we used was emphasized. Emphasized. Is there something that I emphasized in this picture? Can you see it? Does it stand out because of the color or the boldness or the detail or the border of the color? Or is it larger? I see it. It's right there. The nose. I tried to make the nose the focal point, the focus. I emphasized the nose. Also, when I fold my paper on this next mask, if I was to fold it in half this way, do you think it'll look the same like mirror images? No. Abstract art, if I fold it this way, will it be mirror image? No, it won't. And here's another one I did, we did more as like a square. So these are our African masks and that's what we did in art. In science today, in science today, we learned about pollution. Okay, pollution um, is what we talked about. 
But biology is the study of life and living things. The scientific method we worked on was the purpose, background research, hypothesis, the procedure, which is the experiment, analysis are the results, and the conclusion. I want you to focus on that this week, is working on what the scientific method is, okay? But we talked about pollution. Are there some things that pollute our earth? Yes, let me show you some pictures. We talked about how the air can be polluted. We talked about how the water can be polluted. Look at the trash in the water. Look at the oil in the water. Look at that, okay? We also talked about other things that um, can be polluted as well, which would be thermal and radioactive. Um, so we talked about that things that cause pollution are called pollutants. We did an experiment, and the experiment we did today was with the water and the dye that was red, and then we mixed it inside of the larger bottle. We talked about how God gives us the rainwater to help the pollutant go away, but does the pollution go away completely? No, it doesn't. How can we clean up the earth this week? How can we make it less polluted? Maybe, what are some things that you also saw that were affected by this pollution? That would be when an oil spill happens, what happens? The animals are affected. The water that the people drink is affected. The health and the life of everything is affected by this water that is polluted. And that was just the example that we used with water pollution, okay? And so we talked about how the water was getting lighter and it was being diluted. And um, we talked about um, how this week you can go and um, help our earth be a cleaner place. And so I hope you enjoyed um, this week and I can't wait for week five. And um, this was also our map that we talked about. So let me show you the Hittite Empire. We have Hattusa. We have Asia Minor, which is here. We have the Black Sea, which is all of here. And then we have Cyprus is the island that's pointy. It's pointing up. Okay, and then we have the Arabian Desert, which is squashed between the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. Y'all have a great week, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!